same issue all over the internet. Particle passing through floor, yours as well. Tired of searching for the solution. Let's talk about that. Hey guys and welcome back to another tasty blender tutorial and as you might have guessed from the comment in the beginning today we are taking a look at particles again so we'll be animating an animation with particles faking collision in a box and we'll also take a look at the comments problem just a quick disclaimer i actually searched it it was the solution was very easy to find it was in the first i think three links on uh, google and it was a very simple solution also if you want to see it stay until the end of the video so let's get into it so we're going to start with a brand new blender project i'm going to delete everything in the project go to front view and i'll add two things the first one is going to be an icosphere which is going to be our object you can choose spheres or whichever object you want we're going to add a plane and this is going to be our particle system and we're going to add a cube that we're going to scale on the x and y axis by pressing s shift z and then scaling it on the x and y axis in edit mode i'm just going to face select the top base press i to insert it and i'm going to drag the inset to about here as you can see it on the screen i'm going to go into wireframe mode by pressing z and then E to extrude and I'm gonna extrude it down. It's a very simple box, nothing too complicated. In edit mode still, let me press A twice to select everything, Control N to recalculate normals. Before I move on to my particle system, just gonna press Control A and reset the scale. Now let me go to my particle system. I'm just gonna scale it up on the Z and X axis like that. Control A to reset the scale. Now basically that's it for the modeling of the particle system let me add a particle system now this is gonna be my particle system over here so if i press play we have these beautiful particles coming down first of all i'm just going to go into my render tab render as object and i'm gonna choose the icosphere with the eyedropper we can also increase the scale of it something like that now you can see that they are falling through our floor if you press collision and also if you let's say increase the friction so the uh, particles stay there the problem is that you have these particles going through the actual floor we don't really want that but we're still not gonna show the solution you'll have to stay tuned for just a bit more I want these to start pulling up in this box and even though we would need a molecular add-on there's a way that you can kind of fake that so let me first go into our particle system again and let's work on a couple of settings first of all when you're working with particles make sure that for example you have a i don't know 150 frame animation to so make sure the end is at 150 and the lifetime is at 150 that means that all of these are going to pile up after time so now we're going to go into physics so the physics type we're going to change it into fluid now as you might see as you might have noticed our movements have started to change they start to replicate a more fluid like simulation there are several settings here that we need to go through and check out i've explained these in a prior video i think or rather just gone through them very quickly but in this case, I'm just going to show you what to do in order to achieve that slight wobbling effect. We're just going to first start with the repulsion factor, which is the force or factor of the force of how the particles are going to repel each other. So each particle is its own world and they try to repel each other away. Stiffness viscosity is basically how dense the material will try to be. And as you can see, we already have some sort of pooling when it happens. The interaction radius is kind of interesting. So this means it, we are increasing the radius uh, around the actual particle that is trying to affect or trying to interact with other particles. And you can see it actually starts to, it's actually starting to look like it's pulling up. So 
Maybe we can try and increase, let's say, the size of these just a bit more so you can have a better view of what's happening. So you can see we have this nice little pulling effect. And if you leave it for a couple of seconds more, let's put them to 200 like that. And you will notice that they also start to spill over almost. So let's increase the end of our animation there. And you can see this spillage. So it's almost like a fluid, but you set it up as a solid. It's such a weird way of working around it, but it works kind of like with the vanilla settings, it works. So this is basically it, what you need for these. So you leave the stiffness, so you leave the stiffness and viscosity. The important ones are the repulsion factor, the, vis the stiffness viscosity of the advanced settings and the interaction radius. So remember that the interaction radius is the radius around the sphere. The repulsion factor is the factor of how strong that force is going to be that will try to keep other particles close. And the stiffness viscosity is the density of your structure. So now, for example, we try to lower down our viscosity. You can see that there is already a slight change. They are bouncing much more. They're not as static. So if you want a slower, if you want like this sort of building up type of vibe, you can use this that stiffness viscosity. And also, mind you, so if we stop this, let's say somewhere in the middle and go into our side view, you can see that they are kind of strangely intersecting with each other and you can see that there is a huge pool of them in the bottom and then there is a slight air here. So that's still one of the things that need to be kind of corrected with this approach. But in order to fake something very easy, why not? So the main attraction of this thing and hopefully the gentleman who wrote the comment is watching this now would you look at that if i click size deflect in deflection it's going to not intersect with the collision object interesting uh by the way this was one of the first uh solutions that you get when you search for this exact problem so yeah that's gonna be it for this tutorial like you, you have self collisions in native which are a bit trickier to achieve but nevertheless it's it's a nice trick to try out it's it's more of a trick than an actual guideline i would still use molecular add-ons but this is a way of just working around it hopefully you found the tutorial useful uh, let me know down in the comments what you thought about it uh, I'm thinking about doing many more of these. Uh, these will also be available as a free source file so you can check everything. You can check it yourself. You can make sure that I'm not cheating with the settings or anything. And you can also then work it from there and you can do whatever you want. You can study it closely and it's gonna be free. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.